Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and welcome back to another Calman calibration video. Today we have the Sony Bravia 9 Mini LED Television. And after testing this TV over the last few weeks, I will say that this is probably the most balanced television that I ever unboxed on this channel. If you look at the RGB balance on this television before calibration, you can see that it had a little red tone to it, but after calibration, it was spot on. The color characteristics on this TV lined up pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's pretty spot on. Before I show you my calibration settings, I just want to show you that now I put the TV in cinema mode and here's the professional mode. And you can see a slight difference in the tone of the picture, but they look pretty similar. If we switch over to IMAX Enhance, you can see the picture gets a little bit warmer and where it says Custom Pro 1, that's my calibration settings. And the Sony TV is so accurate even after I calibrate it, you can't see that big a difference between the IMAX Enhance and the Calibration Pro. So what that tells me is that the Calman software did a really good job adjusting the TV, but Sony already has really good settings. So calibration may not be needed on these televisions. Now using an Apple TV, I just want to show you again, here's the settings, cinema mode, professional mode, definitely lowers the picture, but cinema mode looks really good. And if we go back to IMAX Enhance, you can see the picture looks a little bit softer, but the calibrations are pretty good already inside of the Sony television. Before I show you these calibration settings, I'm going to say that chances are you probably don't need them on this Bravia 9 because it's so accurate. Another thing I'm going to say is that custom for Pro 1, custom for Pro 2 are only available whenever you connect it to calibration software. So you'll have to use one of the other profiles inside of the TV that you don't use to enter these settings that I'm about to give you. So back on custom profile one, let's take a look at the settings. Now you can adjust the brightness and this is all for SDR content only, but brightness is gonna be at 30%. Again, you can turn it up if you need to. Contrast at 90, gamma is at negative two, black levels at 50%. You can adjust these black levels below if you need to, but the calibration software turns it off. Auto local dimming is at medium, and the peak lumius is turned off, but again, if you need it to be brighter, you can turn that back on. As far as the color settings, 50% on color, hue at zero, and color temperature at expert one. Next, you'll need to go down to advanced color adjustments, and on basic, you will not make any changes, just leave it how it is. Now this is where you wanna make your changes. So what you wanna do is go to Advanced Color Temperature Multipoint 20P. Once you turn this on, this is the adjustments you wanna make. At the color gamma adjustment, you're gonna put it at one, the red offset, positive 18, the green offset at positive 16, the blue offset at negative 20. And for the last step, you wanna go down to Per Color Adjustment. On red, you wanna have the hue at one, saturation at three, lightness at four. Under magenta, you wanna put the hue at six, saturation at negative one, light at one. Under blue, you wanna put the hue at negative one, the lightness at four. Under scion, you wanna put hue at seven, saturation at eight, lightness at four. Under green, you wanna put the hue at three. Under yellow, you wanna put the saturation at negative one, and that is the settings for it. You can always play around with your clarity if you want to get better, smoother picture. And you can also do that with motion. And for reference series, I have the cinema motion at high and also have the video signal at automatic on color space and HDR. So there's the settings for the Sony Bravia 9 that I used on the calibration software. A couple of things that I want to say is that you're not going to get the option for custom Pro 1 or 2 because that is set up in the calibration software. I also want to say that each TV that's calibrated has to be calibrated as an individual television. So this TV settings might be different from your Bravia 9. And this is a 65 inch, but you can try it out on the other sizes if you like. With that being said, if you try out these settings and you see any kind of difference in your television, be sure to leave me a comment below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.